by the way, double O, Overton's Orange called in and said, Swanee, that was me. I was a caller. And if anybody has a problem with what I said, they can take it up with double O. Absolutely. Four wins for the Gamecocks is what double O is predicting. Again, that schedule, Gamecock Nation, I, I, let me be the one that tempers the expectation. Maybe that's my responsibility as being the Clemson show here in the Midlands of South Carolina. Again, if this is the price is right, and I'm looking at the box of macaroni and cheese, and and Drew Carey, for that matter, I'd, I'd much prefer it be Bob Barker just between you and me, okay? Much prefer it to be Bob Barker. But if we're standing there and that box of macaroni's got eight and four or four and eight. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that box of macaroni's got eight and four or four and eight. Man, the people in the crowd are going, four and eight, Swanee. Four and eight. Nobody. There might be three people pointing. Eight and four. Put it on eight and four. Now listen. Game cognition. Do I think you're going four and eight this year? I really don't think you're going to go four and eight. But do I think that it's going to be better than last season for the Gamecocks, given the schedule ahead of them? I do not. I do not. Just like I, I don't think, let me just break this down for Clemson Tiger Nation as well. I don't think that your record is going to be better than it was last year either. Now, could both of these teams perhaps finish with the exact same record? Yeah, but I don't think either team is going to be better than what they were last year. Now, for Clemson, come on. It's better than 14 and 1, it's 15 and 0. You're not going to be 15 and 0 Tiger Nation. I'm just going to break that down for you. Now, if I'm wrong, hey, trust me. I'll be happy to walk in studio and eat the crow as the back-to-back national champions. But for South Carolina fans, again, the NC State game is going to be a tremendous measuring stick game for you because, one, when I saw you last season against a good defensive line in the Clemson Tigers, I saw struggles galore. And that NC State team is very good defensively. I had no faith that Missouri would challenge you three weeks ago in the middle of summer. No faith in Mizzou. And then the more I hear about them, the more people are talking them up. Now, I, I don't know if that's just fodder and fluff for this time of the year or what. But it's on the road, Columbia, Missouri. That's got to be a toss-up. Kentucky, I would believe you should be able to beat. But still, tough. Now, you might start 3-0, and and this would change the whole dynamic of where you are. But even if we give you 4-0 and out the gate, give you 4-0 and out the gate. You beat NC State. You beat Missouri. You beat Kentucky. You beat Louisiana Tech. 4-0. Boom, we're rolling. It feels like it's going to have a little 2007 in it. Where you're, what, 6-1 and one or whatever it was and ranked sixth in the country and then five consecutive losses, I think it was. 2017 has the potential to be that type of year. And I'm sure there are Gamecock fans out there who look at it and go, man, we could get off to a 4-0 start and be feeling really good. You go 2 a and A&M, Kevin Sumlin in a must-win year. You got Arkansas at home, at Tennessee, Vandy. I would believe you should win that game. That would give you five wins. At Georgia's a loss. Florida's a loss. You win Walford, that's six. You lose to Clemson, that's six and six. I don't believe it's going to be better. Even if I give you the four games at the front of the schedule. Like, what I would love to hear 
from a Gamecock fan who is willing to be realistic with me are the reasons that South Carolina would win more than six games with this schedule. Who are the teams that the Gamecocks are just, we're just better than them, Swan. We're better than them. You give me that, I'll get out the way. 